there beautiful beings and welcome to my sacred space. My name is Raven and thank you so much for being here. It's a pleasure to read for you. Tonight I have another dashboard reading for you which is basically a quick snapshot of the energy surrounding you right now so that spirit can give you an advice or guidance on how to better navigate your way through it, okay? The energies that we're looking at are for your um, life, love, and finances, right? Um, Please note my readings are timeless, so whenever you find this video, that is when you're meant to receive this guidance from Spirit. Also, these are general, so please only take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind. Lastly, as a form of an energy exchange between you and I, I would like you to please focus your gaze on the crystals in front of you or the tarot decks, and whichever one calls out to you the most, select that one. That way, your intuition will be working with mine and we can get a more accurate reading for you. Alright, group number one. This is um, a blue aragonite crystal and the modern witch, no, sorry, <laughs> everyday witch tarot. Is it? Yes, it is the everyday witch tarot. For group number two, we have this slice of malachite and the mystic Monday's tarot. For group number three, we have this smoky quartz crystal and the um, tarot of mystical moments. I'll see you in your readings. Alright, beautiful souls from group number one. If your intuition guided you to select this blue aragonite crystal, we'll put it in the middle. Or the everyday witch tarot, this is going to be your reading. We're asking spirit for guidance to find out the energy surrounding you right now in terms of life love and finances please take note my readings are timeless so whenever you find this video that's when oops <laughs> that's when you're most needed to hear this guidance okay but at the same time since my readings are general please use your discernment to identify which part of the reading is yours okay not everything will fit and please don't try to force it okay all right let's jump right into it Thank you so much, angels and spirit guides. Truly grateful for your presence, guidance, and protection. Can you please help me read for group number one, please? What's coming? We have the Ten of Swords, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Five of Swords. I feel like you chased something. I feel like you chased some sort of a dream, a goal, and you kind of like worked really hard for it, but... What happened in the end is that you realize that you um, have exerted so much in this in this dream, in this goal, you know, and it's taking too long. Okay, I feel like, you know, the Knight of Pentacles is basically telling me that there was something that you really, you know, you really worked hard for this one. You really exerted a lot of effort on this one, you know, you put your heart and soul into it. However, it kind of like left you a little bit on the... Um, not on the good side okay i'm sensing this could be some sort of like a business venture okay um because what's happening right now is i see that you could be struggling a little bit financially okay or maybe you know it doesn't always have to be that big of um of like a situation or a scenario you know so take it how it resonates you know it could mean it could differ it can mean like oh, all right you invested so much in in this project or you know something and then eventually like for example just i don't know it's coming to me but for example you decided to come up with like um um how do you say that um an exhibit of your artwork let's say and you know you put your heart and soul into it like you you spent all of your money and it didn't work out right now so it could be that it could be also something simple like for example you saved all of your money and you decided to buy this really cool and fun tarot deck and then you just you realized once you received it you realize oh my gosh it's not resonating with me this is not for me so you know it can range but basically the energy is that you put in a lot of effort a lot of time a lot of money um into something uh, only for you to realize that it's not for you okay so and I'm also sensing some sort of like financial loss over here. That's something that's very present. So, you know, the Ten of Swords, yes, it can signify endings, you know, but it doesn't, I think I see like, you, you know, it's not really like an ending ending, you know, it can be like, it's time for you to, you know, just park this for now and perhaps, you know, find something else that will make you feel a little bit better or, you know, find something else that's, um 
a little bit more planned okay i feel like this is something rushed yes okay once you have that because look at this even this chariot card is kind of like showing indecision you know this is someone who's still planning you know after this after all of that, you know, I feel like you're going to be a little bit more cautious on the things that you invest your money in, your time in. You know, it could also be people. So take it how it resonates. But definitely, there's you suffered some sort of loss. And I'm so sorry to hear that, group number one. But, you know, moving forward, we have the chariot here, which tells me that you have learned something out of this experience. And I think that's the most important thing, right? When, you know, we see the things that happens um, or the things that are happening around us more than just problems you know we see them as lessons and that's very important because i see here you are you're moving you're you're showing up as a chariot in the future which means that you have the rain or you're holding the reins to your own destiny and now you know how to move forward with ease and you know with proper planning and you know victory is yours okay what about love spirit what do we need to know about love for group number two justice Ace of Swords, Hierophant. Well, for love, group number two, I'm sensing that you will be you will be receiving some sort of news. Okay, this is this is a card of kind of like an epiphany is happening. Do you know what I mean? I feel like perhaps in the past there could have been some sort of like an order that you know order was kind of like displaced within this relationship I, I don't sense like this is a long-term relationship it could be uh, you know love can also be friendship you know so take it how it resonates but i feel like there was some sort of like inequality in the relationship in the past you know it wasn't you know it maybe there was not enough reciprocate reciprocation it's not even a word but you know not both parties are equally um, reciprocating you know the other person is a little bit lackluster in their in reflecting what you're giving you know um I see that it caused some sort of like arguments in the past, you know, I'm, I'm being drawn to the cats and now they're kind of like, you know, fighting, like, that's not a good sign. But, you know, moving forward, what's happening, like, I feel like that's the past, but what's happening now is that you will be receiving some good news, okay? Maybe this person, okay, maybe you have had like a falling out with them, but I'm sensing that this person is going to come in and, you know, maybe apologize tell you the truth or give you some sort of news because i'm sensing that with this ace of um swords over here i feel like this person is really having some sort of like a mental clarity and at the same time you know you will be receiving that too because like i said earlier epiphany that's that's a word that was just popped into my mind out of nowhere and yeah i feel like you'll have an epiphany which will actually lead you to you know restore the order that was kind of like lost in this um in this relationship okay um let's see what else yes okay so you know but w once this order is restored you know it's not like smooth sailing from then on it will still require co cooperation from the both of you okay yeah it still will definitely um it will need, you know, the efforts of both parties now more than ever. If you decide to, like, work this through, okay, it could be, <laughs> for some of you, it could be some sort of, like, um, a partner in a project, okay? But, yeah, I feel like, you know, once you decide to collaborate and understand that, you know, each person has a role to play in this um, situation, then you will realize that, um you know things can be improved and things can be fixed okay and things will be better and harmony will you know will show up soon now for your finances what i have is the seven of pentacles the two of cups and temperance i feel like you you know temperance and seven of pentacles really shows that you're taking the time right now or you're appreciating I feel like you have been patient for a little while. It could be like you have been applying for a job and you're finally getting this partnership, okay? Because the two of cups doesn't always have to be, really, it's not always a relationship card. It means like union, okay? So it could be a union between you and a company or it could also be like perhaps you have, you're gathering some investors to your business and finally you're having it, okay? And I'm sensing like with the temperance card showing up here, I feel like you're gaining the power to you know temperance also is a card that signifies alchemy you know what i mean so this is something that it's kind of like you are the one who's trying to um mix everything you know what i mean I, I can't really like express myself right now but i feel like um 
you're exhibiting a lot of patience right now to um, put in all of the ingredients together to make this thing work, you know? I feel like you're going to exert a lot of effort in adapting or, you know, perhaps you were the one who's going to adjust to... But, uh, you know, I wouldn't really recommend that you always be the person to adjust to another person. Do you know what I mean? Like, it has to be both of you. You have to meet both. Um, you have to meet each other at, you know, the same ground, okay? I don't know, like, for some of you, it could be health-related. Maybe you're, you're into, I don't know, like, coming up with a juice, juicing recipe. I don't know. <laughs> maybe coming up with a YouTube channel wherein you're going to do some cooking and, you know, um, Maybe you just hired someone or you partnered with someone who's going to man the channel with you. I don't know, but I'm sensing there's some sort of like health that's being something healthy. Take it how it resonates. I, that's an intuitive hit. So I feel like you're really doing your best right now to be accommodating to this partner. Okay, I feel like maybe you're exerting a lot of patience okay you can also mean that you hired someone to help you you know and this person is not exactly the right mix there you go <laughs> the right mix to you know this job but you need the person and you know spirits just reminding you to be a little bit patient or to be more patient because i feel like you have waited for a long time to have someone to help you um in this venture and now that you have this regardless if it's an assistant or a partner now that you have this it's for you to appreciate or to see or to see the value of this person to see what they bring to the company and at the same time you know just don't carry everything i feel like it's something that's really needed okay um let's see let me just pull some angel guide cards for you calling your Group number one's guardian angels, can you please come through and give them further advice, please? Thank you so much. Group number one. Forgiveness and understanding. Okay. Yes, like I said, you know, I think if you feel like you have been cheated on, like in this venture, or if you feel like, you know, you don't feel so good about yourself after this, you have to understand that you need to let it go and you need to forgive yourself. It's a lot harder to forgive ourselves, especially if we feel like it's our fault. Or, you know, if you're taking full responsibility of this thing that has happened to you, then kudos to you. But it is quite difficult to, you know, carry all that burden and, you know, feel that shoot, you know, I, I, I screwed up. This is all my fault. Yes, you can do that. Okay, just for closure and so you can start healing but most importantly you need to forgive yourself and understand that you know these things they happen for a reason i know it's cliche yeah yeah but you know they do and instead of like focusing on you know the troubles or you know the the worries the concerns try to see the um the lessons that you have learned from the situation cut the cords okay we have cut the cords for the middle let's see I don't even remember what was the reading for the middle part. Ooh. Okay, depending on what message you will receive from um, from this person, you know, the action moving forward relies on you. Like this person and you, you know, either one of you, you have the um, both. You have, you both have the same power in this connection you know and if you feel the need to cut the cord if you feel the need like you know this person is not gonna change although that's strange because we do have that here that you know um order is going to be restored and but if in case it doesn't you always have the you know, spirit just wants to remind you that if it doesn't work out the way that you were hoping then you can always cut the cords you know let's see what what else spirit Yes, and you have the strength and guidance from the divine moving forward. So, you know, it's it's um it's not easy to um cut someone out, you know, even if it's just a friend or you know, especially if it's a lover. But, you know, the strength and guidance card over here is basically just telling me that, you know, spirit has your back and yeah, yeah, we are that a lot of time but yes this is coming through okay and maybe that's the reason why order is going to be restored because you're going to be you know cutting this person out okay so you know take it how it resonates it's quite blurry i'm just, a lot of energies okay so please only um use the part of the reading that resonate with yours with your situation and apply the guidance that comes with it okay 
ease and grace yes like most especially if you know if you're um if you're joining a new company and you know if um if you're adapting or if you're kind of like partnering up with someone you know it's very important to have ease you know do things with ease like don't try to force yourself into you know learning everything all at the same time you know do it with ease and in a gradual manner and at the same time have grace because if you if you just well not just you but the other person too you know if you just kind of like ram uh like attack or not really attack but if you kind of like overwhelm the other person with a lot of information then you know it's not gonna be it's not gonna be as pleasant for you and for them do you know what i mean like yes have ease and grace and understand that you know people do have our own um a way of learning things our own pace you know the learning curve so you know just give this person a little bit of um of time and like i said you know it might not be easy as you know in the beginning but you have to go back to when you were patiently waiting to have um someone to help you with this okay patience is very very important for you in terms of your career fuchsia true feelings within you is all you need to know there you go what you have or what you need to know is already deep within you you know so basically it's just saying that you have the wisdom now to move forward okay to address whatever situation that comes your way that's kind of like similar to this and i think that's the reason why we do have you know these situations you know sometimes we see them as okay shoot you know this is really terrible i hate this but then you know over time we realize that oh gosh you know i, I was able to um i didn't succumb to that situation i i i emerged victorious and then re and then you know moving forward you will soon face hopefully not that soon but <laughs> moving forward you will face somewhat of a similar situation and you will realize that what happened to you in the past kind of like um uh, equipped you with the knowledge on how to handle things strength yes oh my gosh two cards of strength okay and um, i think that's pretty self-explanatory and for lastly insight the answers are there for those who look okay again you know um try not to I feel like this person is going to be asking a lot of questions and uh, yeah so i guess that's why you need to have patience okay a lot of patience for you for strength yes i think the strength part is just basically you know telling you that once you decide or if you decide to cut the cord with this person you know you will get the um support that you need from spirit okay pretty muddy reading for the love part i have to admit but there you go that is my reading for you group number one i hope some parts of it resonated with you most often than not well not really most often and all the time <laughs> you know these readings do not really make sense to me but whenever you tell me that oh gosh you know it resonated with me then you know i i feel good that i was able to help someone like yes you know some of these readings really don't make sense to me at all <laughs> But when you tell me that it helped you, I'm like, I'm all set. You know, I'm happy that what I'm doing is helping people. So if this reading resonated with you, please let me know in the comment section below. I would really appreciate it. Also consider giving this video a like or subscribe to my channel for future readings like this. Thank you so much. Appreciate you being here and I hope I see you again soon. Bye hello there beautiful beings from group number two if your intuition guided you to select this malachite slice or the mystic mondays tarot this is going to be your reading can you be reminded my readings are all timeless so whenever you find this video that is when you are meant to receive this guidance oopsies from spirit also these readings are all general so Please take it how it resonates that everything will fit your situation, okay? So please only accept those parts that hit home. Um, tonight, we're asking spirit for the energy surrounding you in terms of life, love, and finances so that you can have the guidance that you need to, pr to properly navigate your way through this situation. Okie dokie. Let's start. Thank you so much, angels and spirit guides. Please help me as I read for group number 
to please what do they need to know most i just felt like a strange stab on my ankle it's quite painful and there's nothing down there to um, stab my ankle but i hope you're not experiencing some sort of like a sprain or a strain but nine of cups knight of cups okay oh and the princess of cups which is the page of cups wow group number two what is up some something that you have really wished for is coming into fruition okay i feel like this is something that you have dreamt of when you were a kid okay that's just an energy that's coming through here i feel like you have wished for this for the longest time C could have something to do with um a relationship of course because we all have three um cup cards or suit uh cups card pseudo cups cards here <laughs> and i feel like you're quite excited for this thing because you know you have spent a lot of time dreaming about this i feel like maybe some of you are already planning your wedding i don't know maybe you know that's just an energy that's coming through it's not in the cards it's a download so you know take it how it resonates but definitely i feel like you are very, maybe you're engaged you know maybe you just recently got engaged because that's also the card of the knight of cups but yeah even before i i, I noticed that i realized that then I really feel like you're really working hard on planning your wedding or you know maybe if you're not the bride perhaps you're the groom maybe you're you know you're planning a proposal i feel like this is something that you kind of like dreamt of like a long time ago yeah when you were young this is something that you have planned okay and i see that you know happiness is in the cards for you your dream will finally be realized so we have good cards for you here group number two i'm so happy i don't <laughs> it's it, you know it yeah, this is the first time that you're doing this. So I don't think that you have been married before. I don't think you have ever, you know, uh, proposed to someone before. So, you know, this is going to be something very new to you. So I would recommend that you please cherish the moment and, you know, feel every every single thing, every every surprise, every, kind, every single stress or whatever. Just feel everything because at the end of the day, when you're old and you're 70, you're going to look back into this moment, how you prepared for this thing that's going to be so momentous in your life and you want everything to be you know uh something or uh how do i say that you want everything to be so some sort of like an epic story that you're going to tell your grandchildren or your children someday okay just pay attention to the small details it's just spirits advice and appreciate appreciate you know live in the now live in the moment you know appreciate Thank you so much, angels and spirit guys. Please help me read for group number two. What do they need to know most in terms of love? Seven of Wands. You're defending something. Four of Pentacles. And a Queen of Cups. Huh. What's going on here? You have happy readings over here, but... Um... That's strange. I'm sensing... I'm, I'm sensing y you are dealing with an older female okay and this could be a mother energy maybe your mother maybe uh your partner's mother so just be careful when you deal with them you know this is someone who's very i don't want to say callous but this is someone who's quite um very emotional okay this is someone who's very emotional and i feel like you know you could have reached some point wherein you feel the need to always like defend yourself and defend the choices maybe this is someone who's just very hands-on you know but of course you know it's the wedding let's say if you were planning a wedding or something you know this is something that's you know the both of you like the couple it's 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 um what's that term it's a communion of two people basically right a wedding so i feel like you know of course the the other person's mother or it could also be your mother you they want to give their input because they're happy for you and they want to share this this uh awesome or you know memorable moment with the two of you and i feel like this person just tends to you know give in a little bit too much of their opinion on things and i feel like you know you're feeling I feel like you're kind of like feeling a little bit um like somebody's overstepping and you're kind of like hey you know what this is don't steal my thun don't steal my thunder that's kind of like the energy that's coming through here and i feel like you are asserting yourself 
uh, in this situation and it's of course you know that's all it's of course you're right but at the same time you know this could be this is your mother or your person's mother so you know just be careful of the things that you say um because this person means well i guess they're just probably too excited you know but at the end of the day you're the one who's planning this thing you're the one who's going to be um you, you're the seller you're the people or you and your partner are the one celebrating this thing this communion of love so you know yes you can uh, if you're wondering like you know should i follow this should i follow her advice should i follow what she wants um it's all up to you but you know at the end of the day i would follow what your heart tells you to do okay maybe you can reach a compromise so just be careful about the things that you say or perhaps you know you could be stressed or something and you know you might be a little bit too assertive so just oops be a little bit more careful okay let me just get that card one second Okay, we have two cups. We two cups came out as well for group number one, if I remember. Yeah, two cups. What else, spirit? For their finances, please. Ace of cups. Okay. And the princess of pentacles or the page of pentacles a new opportunity is opening up for you in the horizon and you know somewhat similar to group number one i see that you could be um was ace of cups also in, in group number one's reading i don't remember but this, this is basically kind of like a sim a signal for you to if you're planning to do something if you're planning to partner up maybe you know you want to um invest in something with a friend or you know it's it's your signal to do it okay there's an opportunity and this opportunity is going to you know give you uh, a increase in the money that you're receiving you know or like a bonus you know a race <laughs> or you know it could also mean that you know there's an opportunity an opportunity open up for you uh, you know it's an opportunity for you to you know move up in terms of the career ladder if you are working for a company then you know um i feel like this is the chance for you to show what you got and you know um take your shot basically do you know what i mean because i'm seeing good cards here so you know a good outcome is here i feel like you're going to be fulfilled a lot of fulfillment because the ace of cups is also here a lot of fulfillment but it will definitely you know be all up to you it won't happen unless you you know you put in effort and unless you really you know work to get this okay i feel like it's not just gonna happen if you just sit there and manifest and try to manifest and manifest and manifest you need to do some work as well so you know if this if you have always wanted that promotion if you've always wanted to do that job that job transfer this is the perfect opportunity for you to do that okay this is it and i think you know definitely it requires you to do some effort put in some effort okay this new venture is going to be fulfilling as well not just because of the ace of cups but the two of cups is here as well so take it how it resonates okay for the advice for groups or for group number two please spirit Group number two, spirit. What else? What else? What else, please? Spiritual growth. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of like thought, hey, what's going on? What, what was the reading for group number two? I should probably just pick the, the guidance cards after I go through. Anyway, um, spiritual growth is here because it's signifying that... Remember I told you earlier that you really, you know, these are things that you're going to remember when you get older. And I feel like it is definitely going to enrich your soul. So it is a way of, of like having, it, it is, you know, a spiritual growth in, in some way. Do you know what I mean? So just focus on the things that you really, like live in the moment. That's basically it. I don't want to expound too much because it's just a simple message that's, that's coming through. Take charge in action. Yes. Okay, if you feel like, um, I said earlier, if you feel like, um, you know, uh, you, you're feeling a lot defensive, not really defensive, but more of like assertive, okay, you want to assert yourself, but like I said, just be cautious because this is, you know, this is someone who is doing something because they want to help or they're doing this out of the goodness of their heart without realizing that they, they could be overstepping. So just, you know, you can always take charge and set your, put your foot down, okay, so just basically spirit is saying that you know you can handle the situation okay 
you know how to handle the situation well so you know yeah do it if you're if you're feeling a little bit um on the fence whether you want to tell this person if you want you to just you know maybe let go and allow this other person to, to you know do everything uh no don't do that it's 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 your parade don't let anybody else drain on it okay honesty and communication yes very important for every kind of um everything in life so i feel like when once you were given the chance to interview or perhaps you know um, put in your letter of intent or whatever put in your you know be honest and be authentic um, about your skills okay more than anything else about your skills like and even though okay even if you don't know or if you don't already have the skills necessary for this job you can always say that you are willing to learn it because i would hire someone who has the willingness to learn the drive to learn a new thing a new skill someone who is more eager to expand their knowledge as opposed to someone who has the skill but doesn't want to work okay so don't think that not possessing the necessary skills in a job um, posting prevents you from applying of course you know if it's like if you want to be a doctor and you don't have the the uh, if you didn't go to um, m medical school um, then if you didn't take up medicine then of course you know yeah <laughs> it won't work but if it's something like um, a technical knowledge you can always learn and you know um, um what hang on just one second please red i don't understand why am i being drawn to the color red i'm like suddenly seeing um maybe red is important i don't know maybe red is the logo of the company or <laughs> um maybe you're supposed to wear a red tie or wear a red sh you know blouse or whatever but i'm just being drawn to the color red which also symbolizes passion so maybe you know maybe you you need to show how passionate you are about this position and learning these things you know so you know take it how it resonates but there's something else that i wanted to say before that like oh yeah people who are employers actually really appreciate um applicants who are eager to learn more than anything else you know because they would be willing to invest in you more if you are willing to learn do you know what i mean so yeah that's just um a thing uh, a little bit of advice devotion be true and pure in your thoughts in your thought and deed yes beautiful card and a beautiful meaning okay so you know what you're doing right now is something that you'll carry for the rest of your life and will show your devotion to the person that you love okay so just make sure that oh maybe you're supposed to use white carnation okay maybe you're thinking of white carnation um as part of this uh the event itself so yeah be true and pure in thought and in deed okay be authentic peace <laughs> yes okay i think this one kind of like tells you Okay, this card tells you that you have the right to kind of like put your foot down but at the same time be calm okay because if you attack not really attack i don't i don't feel like you're going to attack someone group number two but i feel like if you you know if you handle the situation in a you know an abrasive way then of course things are not going to go well but yeah find peace and it will be easier for you to handle situations if you're still annoyed with this person because they're kind of like you know uh being a little bit too much then maybe now is not the time to talk to them uh, allow yourself to cool down a little bit okay before um addressing this person endurance hold on you can do this yes if you feel like you know uh, maybe during the interview you would feel like basically just telling me to be calm as well for this one and to believe in yourself okay maybe you have been trying to apply for this position for the longest time and you feel like oh gosh you know i'm never gonna get it but if you are never gonna get it if you think that way but if you believe in yourself and you continue and you you know persevere and move forward with passion determination and endurance then you will get that and believe in yourself group number two that is what i have for you i hope this reading resonated with you in some way even just some little parts of it 
you will know which part is yours actually your intuition will guide you but yeah if it did then please let me know in the comment section below i'd love to hear from you also if you don't want to share your thoughts in the comment section maybe you can just you know give this video a like or subscribe to my channel for future readings like this thank you so much group number two wish you all the best bye hello there beautiful beings from group number three if your intuition guided you to select this smoky quartz crystal we'll put it in the middle or the tarot of mystical moments this is going to be your reading please be reminded my readings are timeless so whenever you find this video that is when you are meant to receive this guidance from spirit also these are general readings so please only take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind you know if it doesn't hit home please don't try to force it to fit okay um tonight we're asking spirit for guidance um for energy surrounding you right now in terms of life love and finances so it's a snapshot of the energies that are yet to come or are already on its way towards you or even happening okay so that you have um, an advice on how to navigate your way through it and emerge successful or for your highest good okay thank you so much angels and spirit guides for your presence guidance and protection please help me read for group number three please what do they need to know most in terms of their life love and finances thank you i'm truly grateful king of swords okay someone's coming in with some sort of clarity okay um someone is going to come in and talk and speak their you know speak their mind okay they have this you know they have like this strong intention to talk to you um three of cups it could be a friend okay i'm sensing some sort of like um the three of cups is you know is a card that signifies friendship connection celebrations and i feel like you know it could be a friend who's going to show you or tell you that they have feelings for you so watch out group number one sorry group number three this is yeah definitely someone is going to speak you know this is someone who could have you know you are the apple of their eye for the longest time and i feel like they weren't they weren't just um brave enough in the past to express how they truly feel about you okay they are afraid to that when they do that when they open up that you will just completely reject them and they don't want to ruin this you know this connection this friendship that they have with you i feel like this is someone who's definitely within your inner circle and i i feel like you know this is something that you have felt in the past but was never really confirmed but right now this person you know there's a change of air maybe there was some sort of canon gonna be for everyone but i feel like maybe you recently um you recently became single and this person's you know saw this as an opportunity like now is my time to strike okay <laughs> so yeah so watch out someone's going to be um professing their love for you or you know someone's going to um how do you say that what's that term someone's going to let me see i said it already profess their love to you um or someone's going to uh sh i forgot the term I apologize i'm not gonna force it what's that term yeah okay never mind we'll, we'll move on we'll move on it's basically the same thing it's the same thing <laughs> i just don't know the idiom i forgot the idiom the sun happiness king <laughs> okay it is swords i feel like what's preventing you from having this sort of happiness and for you to move forward is you are afraid that you know you're you're the one keeping yourself in this own cage eight of swords basically it speaks of someone who's you know trapped but they're trapped because of their own doing okay this is someone who who feels like they're powerless but you know in reality you see this this cage here is open and you know this person this cherub can definitely fly away they have wings there's there's no reason for them to feel so dejected and sad and you know hopeless and sitting down like that they have the opportunity to fly away it's just that they are not looking up and seeing it and i feel like that's also you know maybe maybe it ties in with this maybe you're afraid to start a relationship with this person because you know you're they're your good friend and you feel like you know sometimes well not sometimes like sometimes you know uh oftentimes when relationships don't work out it's hard to stay connected with this person so maybe you're also afraid of that but try because i feel like this person has a lot of love for you so you know this is someone who's always been there like i said 
someone who's very close to you in your tight knit circle this is someone who's very loyal they're funny you know they they have they're very good person generally and they know how to handle their emotions i mean waiting for you for the longest time waiting for you to you know be single again this is someone who really has feelings for you and i feel like this it's for some reason like the sun is also here and the birds or maybe that 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 could also be um, important to you a black bird i don't know raven maybe or crow i don't know but maybe you watch that movie of um <laughs> Um, I don't know, it's very strange, but that, that just popped inside my head. The movie of Johnny Depp, wherein he was um, a bank robber. I don't really remember the title of that movie, but yeah, he, he calls his um, love interest there Blackbird. So maybe this person calls you Blackbird. Maybe you like the song Blackbird. Or is it Blackbird singing in the da da night? Yeah, the Beatles song. So yeah, take it how it resonates. A lot of um, signs coming in. So if you're looking for signs, that's one of it. But yes, a lot of happiness is in the cards for you. You know, you just have to release yourself from this, you know, self-limiting beliefs, okay? This person is overflowing with a lot of emotions for you and they're ready to set sail. I'm telling you, group number <laughs> number three, they are. In terms of your, ooh, we have the Sun of Swords, the Magician, and the Queen of Swords. I feel like you're going to be dealing with someone who's quite deceptive in terms of work, okay? This could be someone who, who's very known or prone to past work, transfer work on other people. You know, this is someone who's kind of like man manipulative in that sense. And at the same time, this is someone who, you know, maybe they could be in power. Maybe this is your boss. Maybe your boss is just prone to like give everything to you or, you know, pass on the job to other people and they speak with a sharp tongue as well so i feel like you know if this happens to you just keep your head down okay you don't want to fight with the boss and i understand yes it can be frustrating at times but keep your ass <laughs> and i said ass on my channel keep your ass covered okay uh, what do you mean by that like whenever you have like i'm just sensing some sort of like an issue with regard to an email that was sent and it wasn't um uh, handled carefully but you actually followed everything and you know this person is going to talk and talk and talk and like talk shit you know this is person this person is really gonna be um this person is gonna you know give you a piece of their mind and you know just keep everything um keep a file of everything it's always it's always good to keep record of things okay just so that if you get pushed and pushed and you have something to cover your ass with okay that's what i mean by cover your ass but yeah this person is is quite manipulative yeah the seven of swords and the the reverse energy of the magician is coming through here so yeah just be careful at work group number three you know if if you're dealing with someone whose energy is like that it's just best to keep your head down do not antagonize this person just especially if they're your boss just follow what they're doing okay and so long as it is still within your you know your scope of and of your responsibilities or if it is not then you know make sure that everything is covered okay make sure you have an email of everything a trail so that you know when shit hits the fan and you, the blame is put on you you have yourself um, you have like a safety blanket okay intuition and downloads yes i feel like you know you know this is coming i said earlier like you felt that and it is coming down group number two i feel like this person realized that it's now or never and that's the reason why they're gonna come in and talk to you and i feel like you're already feeling that you're sensing that group number three even before i started i feel like you already know so yeah that's also a download on your part in your intuition saying something guardian angel yes i feel like you know this could this relationship could something be, could be something like um um a match made in heaven i would like to say i don't know but that's the energy that's coming to do I feel like this person could be a guardian angel to you or could have been a guardian angel to you for the longest time and you just you know you were you you saw this person as like your best friend and you just really didn't see them as a partner because you're afraid that once you do you know this relation this friendship this really strong friendship will fall into pieces if you break up but but if you don't because this person is exhibiting a lot of love for you so and they really do care about you so what if you don't right why don't you give it a try 
Yeah, that's. I would love to give it a try if I were you. I'm a hopeless romantic, but yeah, at least you know, talk about it openly. It, it's gonna be more easy that way. Trust the universe. Yes, yes, you know. You might feel, oh my gosh, I hate my job, I hate this, I hate my boss, and stuff like that. But there's a reason why this is happening right now. And just, you know, maybe you're meant to learn something. Maybe you're meant to learn what your boss is doing right now. Because in the future, it could be they're going to get sacked. <laughs> or maybe, you know, somebody's going to make an audit and realize that, hey, this person is not really working or functioning, you know, as their, as their designation uh is supposed to function and they're just farming all of the work to other people maybe somebody's going to do an audit and you know they're gonna get caught and maybe that's why you're learning all the things that you need that your boss um, is supposed to be doing maybe you're supposed to be the next in line you know so please trust the universe there's always or maybe if if that doesn't happen then maybe you know um another company will open up with the same position and you know perfect you already know what the position excuse me Oh gosh, <clears throat> you already know what this person is doing. Like, yeah, so you already have the experience. You you will better. Um, you'll be a better candidate for the position. So, just trust in the universe. You know, keep your head down, and do what you're told, <laughs> and keep everything covered. Okay. Gratitude. Be thankful for what is good now. Aww. I feel like, you know, maybe you have experienced a lot of headaches in the past, you know, with past relationships. And this is someone who really was there for you. This person is going to come in and talk to you. And, you know, this is going to be like a, a, a breather, a, a breath of fresh air for you in terms of relationships. So appreciate and have gratitude because this person is coming in. And I feel like you won't ever have to feel sad or, you know, um, sorry again in a relationship, okay? power take hold of what you know is yours oh my gosh maybe you are meant for each other you know <laughs> maybe you know that this person is for you you're just kind of like trying not to you both have the power to decide whether you want to be with each other or not and you know even if you decide to break up in the future i feel like your relationship is too good to be tainted by a breakup you know at the end of the day, I feel like you will still be together regardless if you're in a relationship with each other or not. But hopefully with it, with each other. Communication. Listen and speak with... Yes! Oh my gosh. Pay attention to um, what this person is telling you because really, you know, some deceptive energies here. This person could also be prone to kind of like, you know... I don't want to say that this is someone who has like ill intentions of trying to get you in trouble, but just be careful, you know, especially in communication, like make sure you understood everything, make sure you have everything covered. And of course, don't, don't talk about this person, like don't trust other people. Okay. That is what I have for you. Group number three. I hope this reading resonated with you in some way. Um, and if it did, I would love to hear your thoughts. Please let me know in the comment section below. And if you don't want to engage in conversation, that is totally fine. But I would, you know, ask if you could kindly just give this video a like, perhaps just for an energy exchange, or maybe subscribe to my channel for future videos like this. Thank you so much for being here, group number three. I wish you all the best. Bye.